Hi, my name is Paulina and this is the next episode of Dying to Know More. In the last episode of Dying to Know, we show you how vast and dense our open world is. Today, with my guests, we will talk more about citizens of the city. Meet World Director of Dying Clay to Stay Human, Tomasz Erbo. Hi, Tomasz. Are you ready? Of course I'm ready. Okay, so let's talk about the city and its inhabitants. And first of all, I'm really curious, what changes did Aiden bring to the city? Well, you see, Aiden is an outsider. He's a pilgrim and he basically spends his life on the roads trying to evade the infected. There is nothing normal about what he does. But somehow the circumstances bring him to here, the city, where people have started to build some kind of new normality, which is constrained by a world, of course, fighting infected, you know, the renegades, uh, stalemate. Uh, but he's going to disrupt this, this normality by his choices and by his action, basically. Are you trying to say that there is a routine in post apple world? Well, sort of, actually. In our world, the fall of civilization happened uh, some 15 years ago, so people have gotten the time to get sort of used to it. You know, that's what people do. They got used to everything. So now they are no longer surviving. They are trying to live. They're just human in an extreme situation. A good example of that, for example, is, is Rahim, a guy in uh, Old Villador that created the analog version of a, a dating app. Uh, but there are also other examples, uh, such as like in the Missy, for example. Missy? Who's Missy? Uh, it's not a person. It's actually, it's a place. It's a ship that was uh, grounded during the fall of civilization in, uh, in the wharf in, in the central loop. And the peacekeepers have turned it into one of their main military base. Uh, so if you look at it from outside, it really looks a lot like a military base. But inside, it's actually teeming with life. So what you will see is you will, of course, see soldiers training, changing their clothes, cleaning their weapons, getting their orders at dispatch. So what kind of future do they believe in? A safe one, I guess. Uh, maybe a bit too safe, actually. You see, peacekeepers believe in law and order as you know, the founding of uh, civilization. Yeah, but these rules seem to be very strict. They kind of are indeed, but uh, you, you could argue that it's, uh, it's what gives them an edge when they are fighting the renegades or, or the infected who actually thrive in, in chaos. You know, after all, the peacekeepers, they're, they're just a product of their environment. They're products of a world. Our world. Um, and regardless of what you may think about their philosophy, you will feel their presence everywhere in the city. Some, some could even call it propaganda, actually. So I understand that there is a lot of environmental storytelling around inhabitants of the city. Am I right? Yeah, what we try to do is we try to let the players understand the rules of our world through their experience, through this exploration, actually. So, for example, if you look at this guy inside uh, one of the cells of the prison in the peacekeeper's ship, you can wonder what he did. You know that he didn't steal because otherwise his hand would be chopped off, as you can see, because it's part of the rules. But maybe he challenged PK authority? No one knows. Yeah, and what will we see? Details, a lot of them. Um, besides just the factions and the main characters, we really tried to give life to all the inhabitants of, of our city. Um, so from eavesdropping, looking at the graffiti, checking the billboards, you know, listening to some of the tapes that are found around the world, you will really learn a lot about what our world is about. It's really the layer that will give textures and that flesh out, fleshes out our world. Well, actually, that sounds really cool. I can't wait to see what you guys created for our players. Oh, we're pretty excited too. Thank you, Thomas, for joining me today. I hope to see you soon again. Always a pleasure. And that's it for today. Thank you all for staying with us. Stay tuned for more and remember, stay human.